Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Faith. Here are all of my colorful, bright red lipsticks and like bright pinks. That is what we're going to be decluttering today. I was also going to declutter my nude lipsticks in this video, but then realized the video would have been like 40 minutes long. So I'm splitting it up. We're just doing the reds and pinks today and the nude lipstick video will be coming in a couple weeks. I'm currently masking, so again, you're not going to see my face in this video, but um, I'll be going through and like showing you each individual lip item as we go. Oh, and if you were wondering, this, oh, this is the mask I'm wearing. I love it. It's probably my favorite mask. It's from Caudalie. It's the Glycolic Peel. I'll link it below. That has nothing to do with this video, though. If, as you're watching, you like what you see, I'd love it if you'd consider subscribing to my channel. All you have to do is hit the red subscribe button and you can become a part of the fam here. Otherwise though, guys, let's get right on into the video. I am just going to start pulling from this bin randomly and go from there. So this right here, let me make sure this is in focus. Okay, this is the e.l.f. Moisturizing Lipstick in the shade Bordeaux Beauty. I honestly have no idea when I got this or the last time I used it feels nice I'm gonna keep it just in case I do any sort of affordable bright lip look next I'm gonna get through these products that I haven't even opened yet I'm probably gonna keep all of these this is one of the VNA strict Delarza cosmetics I'm <clears throat> sorry I'm a little bit sick if my voice sounds hoarse this is one of the uh, Delarza cosmetics VNA strict collaboration lip pencils this is the shade 24. It's a little bit deep for me, so that's probably why I put it in this bin, but I still consider that more of a nude. So I'm going to put that, take that out of the box and put that in my nude bin. And then I also have both of her liquid lipsticks. I think I did use one of these. I definitely did, but I just kept them in the nice, cute packaging. So this is Squad, and then this is 24. So that's definitely more of like a red tones. I'm going to keep it in here. I'm definitely keeping it. The formula is great. And then I'm going to put this squad shade in my nudes bin. Okay, next up is a Stila Stay All Day Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade Tesoro. I believe this is a discontinued shade, which is really sad because this is a really good lipstick formula. So I'm definitely keeping this. I love, love, love this. I'm pretty sure this was in one of my red lipstick videos where I talked about my favorite red lipsticks so definitely keeping this these are from forever 21 and they're so old I think I'm gonna get rid of them they have barely any pigmentation to them oh and look at that it's actually like broken oh that's gross I'm getting rid of these there's no pigment to these well actually that one is kind of pretty I think I'm gonna keep this red one and get rid of the other two. They're so old. Honestly, I should probably get rid of that red one, but look how pretty. Okay, I'm gonna go through my IBY Beauty Liquid Lipsticks. Let me try to gather them all here. So we have Cosmo, Vamp, Second Date, and Crush. And I am definitely keeping all of these. I got these in the last year or so, and I love the formula of these. They're also super affordable. Um, and actually Crush, I think, was in one of my favorites videos for, like, red lipsticks. They're not super transfer, like, resistant. They are a matte liquid lipstick, but they're more on the hydrating side, which is nice to have as an option. This is a Gerard Cosmetics lip pencil. It must be a red lip pencil that I haven't used yet. Yeah. This is Immortal. I'm definitely going to keep this. I have not used it yet. This I know is something I'm going to get rid of. This is a CoverGirl. Um, I don't even know the name of these. It doesn't even say, but it's the shade 521. I used to be obsessed with these, but this is literally three or four years old. This was a really good liquid lipstick formula at the drugstore at the time being, but I found so many better ones since then that I just don't use this. This is the Revlon Color Stay Ultimate Liquid Lipstick, and this is the shade 6. It's Ultimate Orchid. 
it's really good for drugstore. I'm going to keep this. I love this shade. It's very unique. It's really pretty with a tan. This is a Sigma liquid lipstick. I don't think I've worn this yet. This is Foxglove is the shade. Um, so I really don't know how this performs. I'm going to keep it. Okay, this is a really old e.l.f. long wear lip liner in this shade Bitter. It looks really janky and gross and dirty, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'll go through the rest of my lip liners that are in here just to get those out of the way. I have this one from NYX. This is their Blackberry. So it's like a literally like a black. I am going to keep that. Sometimes I like to do a black lip for like Halloween time and that's good to have. I also have this one from NYX. This is Mahogany. I also really like this lip liner. I love NYX lip liners if you didn't already know that. And this one's from IBY Beauty. I don't think I've used this. This is the shade Berry. I think I'm going to keep that. This is a NYX retractable lip liner. I don't really like the retractable formula as much as the wooden one. This is dark red. I'm going to keep it. And then this is from Charlotte Tilbury. This is new. This is one of their lip cheats. It's in the shade Kiss and Tell. I'm definitely going to keep this. I have not even tried it yet. I have a couple more products from IBY Beauty. These are their shade lipsticks. They're like chubby sticks, kind of. I don't really like these, I have to be honest. I don't really like crayon chubby stick type of products, so I think... I'm going to get rid of these just because I know I'm not going to use them. This is super old. They don't even make it, like, they don't make the container look like this anymore. This is from Makeup Forever. Um, they used to make their liquid lipsticks dual-sided, where there's the liquid lipstick and then a gloss that you could put over top. But I believe now they just make it um, with a liquid lipstick. But the Makeup Forever liquid lipstick formula is really good. However, this is so old, I really think I should get rid of it. This is the Aqua Rouge from Makeup Forever, but I'm going to get rid of this just because of how old it is and for like hygienic purposes. I really think this is probably... 10 years old at this point which is super gross and embarrassing oh i found another ibuy beauty liquid lipstick that i forgot to mention this is ruby i think i also put this in my favorite red lipstick video i really love this this is the red lipstick that i wore in my holiday um makeup tutorial like about a month ago this is from gerard cosmetics and it's the shade immortal i love their formula if you have really dry lips this is a great formula to try and this red shade is perfect. It's like a true red. So I'm definitely keeping that. I have a couple products from Lancome and a bullet lipstick from Lancome. These two are from the Proenza Schuler collection. I really don't know much about that, but basically there's a gloss on this side, which, and it's like a clear gloss. I don't know, it looks tinted, but it's really not. And then on this side, it's like a weird shaped lipstick. I really didn't understand the concept of this and I really didn't like them. So I'm going to get rid of them even though it's a really nice high-end brand. Um, they just didn't work for me. I didn't like the whole setup of this. And then I do have a bullet lipstick from Lancome. I love their bullet lipsticks because it's like a little button that pops it out. Um, this is from the Camila Coelho collaboration and I love this shade. I believe this was also in my favorite red lipstick video. This is a matte lipstick and it's the shade Copacabana. How cute is that? It's like little lips. I think that's adorable. So I'm definitely keeping that. Next I have the infamous lipstick from MAC. D is for danger. This is a very popular like berry red shade and I'm going to keep that. I believe this is maybe one of their like smaller sizes. I don't know, it looks kind of small, maybe not. I have another liquid lipstick from Stila. This is in the shade Karina. This also might be one of the ones that was discontinued. I love this shade in spring. It looks so good with like a tan also in the summertime. I'm definitely keeping this. This was my favorite li liquid lipstick formula for the longest time. I still love it. I've just found some others that I like equally as much, but um, I really enjoy this, so I'm going to keep that. This is a lipstick from Sleek. It's their Major Matte Ultra Smooth Matte Lip Cream. This is the shade Velvet Slipper. I believe I used this in a video where I used the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Palette like maybe about a year ago. This is a really, really pretty shade. I'll show it to you here. It's really pretty. The formula on these Sleek 
liquid lipsticks is so nice. I highly recommend them and they're super affordable. So I'm keeping that. This is from Makeup Forever. It is a regular bullet lipstick. It's like a black shade. This is what I used on Halloween. This is super old, but I've only used it once or twice. I'm going to keep it because it's the only black lipstick I have and it's super long wearing. The shade is Intense, I believe, number 50. This is probably my favorite red lipstick of all time. This is from Too Faced. It's their Melted Matte Liquefied Matte Longwear Formula. And the shade is called Lady Balls. I kind of wish it wasn't called that because it's just weird to say. But this is just the longest wearing lipstick ever. And the red shade is like perfect. Definitely keeping this. This definitely is a like smaller size. I don't know if it came in a kit or what, but they're regular, regular size ones I think are a little bit bigger than this. I have no idea why this is in here. It's a chapstick. It's the Baby Lips from Maybelline. These were so big back like 10 years ago. This is absolutely disgusting. I'm getting rid of it. It is so old. Yuck. This is a lipstick from Revlon. Um, it's a really pretty shade, but it's super beat up and it's super old. This is the shade 880 HD Marigold. It is a really pretty color, but again, it's like so old and... I never use it. I honestly don't know why I bought it. It's not a matte and I normally like matte lipsticks. I think just because of the state this is in and since I haven't used it in a very long time, like years, I'm going to get rid of it. This is a new lipstick I got from Charlotte Tilbury. This is a beautiful red shade. It's the shade Red Carpet Red. This also was in my favorite red lipstick video. It's absolutely gorgeous. The packaging is stunning and it is new. I just got it in the last few months. So I'm keeping this. This is a lipstick from Givenchy. Um, I don't really love this shade, I have to be honest. I got this through Octali. This is the shade Corral Backstage. I guess maybe in the springtime it'd be pretty. Um, and it's very pigmented. Very, very pigmented. I'm going to keep it just because it was given to me and it's a very high-end brand and the packaging is pretty. But it's not a shade I would always reach for, but it is, it is actually kind of pretty. This is super old. I'm probably going to get rid of this because it's so old. Um, this is from Maybelline. It's their Sensational, Color Sensational line. And it's the shade Plum Perfect 435. This was really pretty, but again, it's so old. Like, I'm talking 10 years old, which is disgusting. So I'm getting rid of that. I have another Hydra Matte Lipstick from Gerard Cosmetics. This is the shade Ballet Slipper. This could probably go with the nudes, although it's kind of a bright pink. Let's see here. It's a very bright BB pink. It's not really a shade I'd normally go for. But I love the formula and it's pretty new, I think, so I'm going to keep this. The last one we have is from Grande Lips. This is their plumping liquid lipstick in the shade Red Delicious. It's a matte liquid lipstick, but it's supposed to like plump your lips. I actually have not tried this. I think I maybe tried it once. Um, but I'm really interested in this formula and it's very new. I got this in the last few months, so I'm going to keep this. And that is it for my red and pink and bright colored lipstick declutter. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you are subscribed so that you can check out my nude lipstick declutter video that's going to be coming in a couple weeks. These are all of my nude lipsticks, and we need to declutter them. I love you all so much, and I'll see you in the next one.